Hi there! In this video I will show you how and where to find the 8 hidden memory in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. My name is Michael and welcome to the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. The easiest way to find this memory is to start at Richland Tower. This tower is located west of Hyrule Castle. Put a waypoint to this location. The location of this memory is inside of Hyrule Castle. And yes, there is also a Korok seat nearby. Somewhere. At the top of the tower, aim for the waypoint and sail down using your paraglider. As you can see, I have only 4 hearts and 1 stamina wheel. I'll show you this so you know that it's achievable for you as well as soon as you get the quest in Kakariko Village. When you sail down, aim for the grey area to avoid moblins on horses. Then just move on towards Hyrule Castle. This is the hardest memory to find, since you have to go inside of Hyrule Castle. The place where the big bad is. This way to get this memory is one of the many ways to get to that location. But in my opinion, it's one of the easiest ones. In order to get this memory this way, you will need a Korok leaf and some stamina food. And a fairy is also very helpful. You will see why. I also have the Master Sword here. I was able to get this sword with only 4 hearts as well. You can get the sword early. How? I will put a link to the YouTube shorts I recently made about this in the description down below. So you can check it out yourself after this video. Or you can click on the link in the right upper corner now. When you arrive at the cliff, just paraglide down towards the mainland and not to an island where the pillar is on. By the way, if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, so you won't miss my future content. And while you're there, hit the like button as well. I stream this game and many other games every Tuesday on Twitch. Link is in the description down below. When you walk towards the waypoint, you will see a small raft. Cut the rope and get your coral leaf. Then start sailing towards the left. This can take a while, but keep in mind this is one of the safest roads towards the memory location. Do you like the Breath of the Wild game? I recently made a video about the Breath of the Wild sequel. Recently, two trailers of that game came out and I'm breaking apart both trailers. Interested in this video? Link to this YouTube video is also in the description down below or click the link in the right upper corner. Yeah. 
Did you already play Skyward Sword HD? Did you know that there are a lot of similarities between Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild? I made a YouTube Shorts about this as well. Link to the YouTube Shorts is also in the description down below. Or click the link in the right upper corner. When you arrive at the wooden part, jump on it. I said on it. Anyway, you get the point. Then run straight on. But be careful, there is a guardian there. And if you aren't lucky... Well, just like me, you gotta need that fairy. But feel free to destroy the guardian. It's up to you. Just keep running forward. To avoid guardians, I make sure I'm gonna climb the outer wall and then paraglide myself in. Climb up here. <laughs> Almost there now. Climb up here. Now, let's go climbing on the tower. Until this point, we can make it with one stamina wheel. Now it's time to eat the stamina food, or climb up until your stamina is nearly depleted and then eat the food. Make sure to stay at this side of the tower, because there are a lot of guardians behind this tower. And then make sure you don't fall down just like I'm doing. Just climb up again if you do.
through the window and welcome in Zelda's study. Outside you can see the glow of the memory location. Just run out and hit the A button. Be careful, there is a flying guardian watching this spot. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. This was Michael of the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. See you in my next video. See ya!